looking forward, do you think, I mean, I don't know. I mean, what do you think? What do you really think is going to happen? I think Trump has to win big in order to win, because if it's close, I don't trust it. That's why it has to be a landslide. He's got to win these Rust Belt states like he did in 16. And right now, if you look at the polling, he wins handily. I mean, he wins in a landslide. And he's ahead in every single battleground, but it's not over yet. Biden's going to throw a ton of money at him. The FBI and the CIA are already teeing up a counterintelligence investigation. If you look at what they're saying about Donald Trump, they're already saying that because they're taking all his money and properties, he's going to have to then borrow money from someone overseas. That could trigger an FBI counterintelligence mm -hmm. investigation. And they're also saying he's a domestic threat because they're combining the dictator on day one hoax with the bloodbath hoax to make it look like it's going to be a civil war. So mm. the big intel is going to be crawling all over this campaign again like they did last time. It's just whether or not the American people can see through that kind of noise. Waters, greatly, greatly I just stated. found out five minutes ago that you weren't coming in studio <laughs> and said he's on remote. I mean, would the rain scare him away? How unmanly. He didn't want to mess up his hair. Yeah, his hair, very <laughs> unmanly. So Waters and I, earlier this week on The Will Cain Show, debated what is and what is not manly. He's got a long list of rules, like a man shouldn't eat soup in public, a man shouldn't lick an ice cream cone. So, Jesse, <laughs> the viewers of Fox & Friends have emailed in on some of your rules for men. Here's what they've had to say. Here's okay. a good suggestion from Charles. Men should never let a female pick up a tab for anything. I just picked up your breakfast tab today, Will. <laughs> that, that wasn't very manly. <laughs> Every rule has an exception. Waters knows that. That's an exception. Charlie, what else they say? Uh, so for here from another one uh, from Nicole, absolutely no skinny jeans. Mm -hmm. I totally agree with that one. I agree. Or skinny suits, by the way. Skinny suits or skinny jeans. Is that is that does that ring true for you, Jesse? Yeah, no skinny jeans, and the men always have to pay the tab. But it yeah. doesn't surprise <laughs> me that Rachel picked up your breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Jesse. Well, listen to Scott, the last viewer, said, don't listen to Jesse. <laughs> All right. But, we by have the to... way, <laughs> uh, we but... should say, now, get it together is out. Troubling Tales from the Liberal Friend. Jesse yes. and I did talk about it for half an hour. It's awesome. He interviews about two dozen radical lefties in here. But he did something surprising. You know, Waters expressed curiosity. Um, and he, uh, he went and <laughs> talked to them about why it is they think the way they think. Um, and it's, it's really good, Jesse. I don't mean, I don't give fake compliments. It's a really good book. Uh, well, here's Jesse. Well, I think thank we have a you clip, for don't the we? endorsement. Don't we have a clip from that? We do. Let's, let's, let's listen to this. What's your ideal green home look like? Create your own electricity through rainwater. Bamboo. Bamboo. Mm -hmm. The home's made of bamboo. Bamboo. So you're vaccinated, right? Mm hmm And you're wearing a mask outside. Yep. Why are you doing that? Just for safety thing. You would fight terrorism through humanitarian measures. I mean, that would be in idealistic circumstances. You would drop food on terrorists. Yeah. How do you feel about me? I think you're a <laughs> Jesse, I love, I love what, what Will said, that you actually had a curiosity about these liberals. So what was your biggest takeaway? What, what can we, what, tell us what we can learn from this book. What's the one main thing about them? You're going to laugh because these tales they tell me are shocking and no one's ever heard anything like this before. No one's ever done a book like this before. I actually learned how to listen, Rachel. <laughs> and many people That's very manly. are shocked it's also that I have any marriage. sort of curiosity at all. Yes, listening apparently is a very, very big factor. So I listened and they poured their life stories out to me. And now I realize what makes liberals liberals. I understand what drives them, what motivates them. And if you buy this book, get it together, you will too understand why people want to open the border, empty the prisons, legalize drugs and prostitutions, and tear down the statues of our founding fathers. It has nothing to do with logic. These people did not read John Locke and come up with any of this ideology. These people are have personality disorders, and they're projecting their problems mm -hmm. on the rest of us. And what the book says is, your problems aren't our problems. Get it together. Because this country does not say get it together anymore. We're afraid to. We just have to say no. Knock it off.
I commend you for going out into their natural <laughs> habitat to study them. Yeah. That's a that's probably a step in the right yeah. direction. Yeah, life's about growth. It Charlie. was an anthropological yeah. investigation, Charlie. But just to be clear, among your manly man rules is uh, rowing a stationary rowing device. Does that does that count as as manly behavior or or not? He plays field okay. hockey. It, it's it's considered exercise, but it's not exercise that I would do. First of all, you're sitting, and any sort of exercise where you sit, like a stationary bike or a rowing machine, I wouldn't consider very good. Uh, I'm not going to blast you because many people on the crew team um, might come at me with an oar to the face. See? But, you know, it's not See? water polo. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Waters. <laughs> you know what's interesting about you? Life's about growth. And I, I think I'm just really happy for you that at age 45, you've discovered curiosity, listening, and empathy. <laughs> you know, now, he many does people his just back think pain. I'm just this horrible <laughs> person that just cuts off Jessica Tarlov every day for a living. But there's so much more to me. <laughs> <laughs> Including humility. <laughs> yes, humility. Some right. people say humility is my best asset. <laughs> Well, the book is called Get It Together. Um, Jesse, we're so happy to have you. Come come again and come join us on the couch one of these days. We yeah. don't live far from each other. Well, it's, it's not that big of a drive. It's raining. It's, <laughs> it's raining, as Will said. All right, Jesse, And thanks. I got a book signing. You got thanks, a book guys. signing. All right, get it together. Go get it right now. Thanks, Jesse. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.